One of the advantages of punching Shigarachi is not just that you have a good, a strong foundation in developing the leg strength, but that you are learning to isolate the hips. Okay. Because a lot of people when they're standing in upright stance, shake the hips. And it makes it feel very powerful. I'll tell you why it's feeling powerful. It's because I'm absorbing, reabsorbing all a lot of my force. So, training the standard removes the hips. People ask, well, why would you ever want to take the hips out of the equation and isolate your, your punches and not have shikarachi? Why would you ever do that? Uh, the answer is simple. You're learning not to shake. You're learning to be efficient in movement. If you imagine a bullet flying through the air, it's not going to spark. It's just flying with a bit of rifling, because the rifle makes it spiral. Other than that, it's only and hit something, that there's some result. But when you're punching air, many people feel the need to feel the power, as if they've hit something. If you, every punch you throw has to be like that, and your body's shaking as a consequence, something's going wrong. Some of your energy is not going into your target. A lot of people punching like this, and their body is shaking like crazy. What you want No shake. Shaking the hips is usually a component of two factors. One, throwing the hip out, which is fine. More often than not, when people using power, they're also bringing it back prematurely. And the last thing is the shaking at the end, which just means that your movement hasn't been efficient. Sometimes the shake comes from your elbow, locking. Because it looks like I've done a full punch, but I've actually still got a bit to go. Don't lock with your joints, lock with muscles. And that goes to the arm too. If you're doing this, it's no good. It's got to go, stop dead. When you want to put your hips into play, then you can, but there's still no shaking. So for instance, I throw the hip in, no extra shaking, no shaking. Ah, you're saying you're shaking now. It's a cop-out to say, I'm training my hip. Because what are you training your hip to do? Pulling it back? If you just do that, why not leave the hip, hip there? The pullback more often than not happens before you've even finished. And then there's an extra shaking in the sides. The whole purpose of hand punching, hair punching, is to refine your movement. Refine it so that it's effective. If you're punching, in a very different way from the way you're punching a bag, then it's bonus. You should be punching exactly the same way. So, when they punch the air, and then they tell them punch Makiwara or a bag or something, and the shaking is gone. I'm using the hip. No shake. Hip moves, but there's no shake. The gear is flat. I'm not doing this. No extra shake. Hip turns, yes. Same movement. No difference. If you shake too much, my experience is, especially if you lock the elbows, you can think like a tennis elbow, tendons get inflamed. Shoulders get inflamed, they get sore. I know this from experience. I used to think that it reabsorbing your own power was good because I thought it made you tougher. It's a very dangerous way to bodybuild if that's what it is. Okay. Punch. 
with the hip, punch without the hip, or even a kick. Okay. I don't want extra movement. I want nice and crisp and tight. 